Let those people not think those are their numbers. That was about the constitution. If they think they have the numbers, let them not waste time. Let them draw an impeachment motion and bring it to parliament. And if they can raise 233, so be it. But let them not confuse what happened in parliament and the political realities on the national scene. Number two, this referendum is coming to the people. You have heard them here. They are waiting for it. At parliament, there was a lot of coercion and intimidation and bribery. And uh, you cannot celebrate a process that has been achieved through bribery and intimidation and, and uh, persecution. What you need to celebrate is a free democratic process that you can celebrate. But uh, a process that is deceitful, that is based on this BBI from the beginning is based on bribery and intimidation. And there's nothing to celebrate because they cannot intimidate the people, they cannot bribe the people. So let them hold their horses, but if they, are, they feel confident enough, we know they have been trying uh, to impeach Dr. Ruto uh, for a long time, and they fear because of raising the numbers that are required, the two-thirds majority. If this voting last Thursday has given them confidence uh, to bring impeachment proceedings against the deputy president, there's nothing stopping them. They don't have to have false brevedo in press conferences. All they need to do is get a third, uh, and uh, bring the proposal and they bring it to the floor of the house. We debate it and we pass it either way. But uh, those are not their people, you know. And you know on our side there is no intimidation and there is no bribery. We allowed everybody to vote according to your conscience and after consulting the people who have elected you. We did not mobilize, we did not persuade, we did not coerce, we did not bribe. Yeah. The base, the support for Dr. Ruto is solid. It's as solid as it has ever been, and it will even get more solid when the country is reopened and we start going to the people and campaigning. And by the way, after the, 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 the country is opened, we now go to full-scale campaign. We only have 13 months to go to the next election. There is no time now to pretend or anything else. It's to go out now and look for votes. And that one we are going to do. Ruto's camp is as solid as it has ever been, and it will be more solid going forward.